Hi and good day everyone. Welcome to Hosey How to channel. Today I would like to share with you, how to create system characteristic curve. What is a system characteristic curve? A piping system is generally considered to include the complete interconnection of pipes including inline components such as pipes, fittings and specials, pumps, Valves and tanks are also considered part of piping system. System characteristic is the total pressure head that is required to deliver the fluid at a rate from low point to high point. The piping system characteristic has three parts, static head, friction losses and minor losses. There are basic hydraulic theories that you need to know before we can calculate the system curve. I assumed that you have some basic understanding of Bernoulli's and continuity of flow equation. This is the Bernoulli's equation and the flow continuity equation. I will not go to the basic of the hydraulic theory in this video as it is not the aim on this topic. But I will show you what is the formula used for the design calculations for the industry. How is the system characteristic curve looks like? A system characteristic curve will look like a half inverted parabolic curve as shown. The system the curve will not necessarily start from zero meter, as there is always static head exist. The system head will increase along the flow increment. The question here is how can you calculate and plot this curve and how to do that? Keep watching and I will show you how this is done. In the industry at most of the cases you will be provided with demand or flow requirements for the development in the master plan. However, this is not enough information for you to proceed further with the design of a pumping system. Once you are given the flow data, the next step is to determine the pump pressure or head required to deliver the flow or demand to the development. In order to determine the pump head, we need to look at the total head required from both suction side of the pump as well as the delivery pressure. The total head required can be determined by the following formula. H total equals HS plus HF plus HM. H total, is the overall pressure head required in meter. HS, is the static head. HF, is the frictional losses and HM, is the minor losses. All these head are varying based on the flow rate. We can develop the system characteristic curve from the above against the flow rate. Before starting any design, it is always good to draw a simple hydraulic diagram to show the pumping system. For simple illustration the pumping system, I am going to use is a suction tank, suction piping, pump, rising main and the receiving end water tank. This can be illustrated as per the diagram shown. In case of a complex network where you have more than one receiving tank or networks, a more sophisticated commercial software shall be used. Next. Let us determine the static head, HS. The static head will be determined from the suction tank water level and the receiving end water tank level. HS equals receiving tank water level minus suction tank water level. In order to examine the range of head required, the static head shall be calculated based on the maximum and minimum water levels at both tanks. The maximum water level at the receiving water tank minus the minimum water level at suction tank will give you the maximum static head. The minimum water level at the receiving water tank minus the maximum water level at suction tank will give you the minimum static head. Next. We will determine the frictional losses. The frictional losses is also term as major losses as it is depending on the pipe diameter, flow velocity, pipe size, material and the type of fluid being conveyed. To calculate the frictional losses, the formula used is Darcy, Weisbach equation. HF, equals F time L divided by D time V squared divided by 2 time G. L, is the length of the pipe, D is the pipe diameter, V, is the flow velocity, G, is the gravity. Here, F is the friction factor which will need to be calculated using the Colebrook-White formula. 1 divided by F equals minus 2 time log 10, E divided by 3.7D, plus 2.51 divided by, R E time square roof of F, E is the pipe roughness. R e is the Reynolds number. This is a complicated equation that need iteration of calculations. As I have mentioned above, you need to know the pipe material used and also to find out the Reynolds number first. Reynolds number R e equals V time D divided by nu, V is the flow velocity, D is the pipe diameter, and nu is the kinematic viscosity. The pipe material will give you the pipe roughness. Finally, the minor losses, 
which is the head losses due to fittings, valves and specials can be calculated using the following formula, HM, equals K2 time V squared divided by 2 time G. K2 is the coefficient of losses for the fittings, specials or valve, V is the flow velocity and G is the gravity. K2 can be obtained from the design guidelines from the authority or the developer who is having jurisdiction. With all the formula above, you can calculate the total head required against the flow. To make the calculations simple, you can use the Microsoft Excel to determine the system characteristic curve. I have created one which I just need to insert the input data. The calculation will determine the pipe size required based on the optimum flow velocity, determine the friction factor, calculate the minor losses and give you the final total head required. This Excel sheet will also plot the system curve automatically. You can go to my next video title, Pump Sizing and System Characteristic Calculations for more details. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if this helps. Please also like my channel. Help to see you in my next video.